my beautiful friends, how are you all doing? It's Mimi here today and today's tutorial is going to be a really pretty springy ponytail and we're going to use this beautiful headband. Um, I got this one from Aldo but you can get a similar one probably at Aldo or H&M or maybe Walmart. These are really great and quick to, you know, pull a nice springy look. Um, they come in different patterns and um, I think it's just a really nice accessory for spring and summer. Okay, so I'll let you uh, know what else we're going to need for this tutorial. And we're definitely going to need a, a heat spray um, or a heat protectant spray because we're going to be curling the hair. Um, we might need some clips, a hairspray definitely to hold those waves or curls. We are going to need a teasing brush. I'm using Denman D3 teasing brush. We're going to need a regular brush just to brush the hair. And a, definitely a curling iron. I'm using a Cortex 401 curling iron and this is the biggest barrel I think which is one and a half inch barrel. We're also going to need, a, we need a lot of things today. We're also going to need a, a hair tie and we might need some bobby pins so have those just in case some hair is falling out so we can fix that. And I think that's it. Oh wait, uh, if you have long hair you don't need extensions but I am wearing my Luxie hair extensions today and chocolate brown and it's a 160 gram set. I haven't bothered to blend in the hair with the extensions because I know I'm going to be curling the hair. So I just clipped them and I haven't done anything. So the first thing we're going to do is brush the hair so there's no tangles and you know we don't run into any problems as we're styling the hair. So I'll just quickly brush through the hair and put it all in the back. Then you want to grab the section here at the crown, just a small section, and you want to just spray it lightly, and you want to just tease it a little bit. And I'm using my Denman D3 teasing brush, and you kind of just go up and down, and just creates a little bit of volume here at the crown, and then you can let go. Just grab another section smaller one on the side, quickly spray and do the same thing. We just want it lightly teased and same on this side. This is just to add a little extra volume at the crown. So once you're done teasing you just want to sort of smooth it out and you have a bit of um, more volume here on top which always looks great when you wear a ponytail and now you're gonna take your hair tie and just kind of put all the hair in a ponytail in a side ponytail actually so you just wanna tie it up in the back and bring it to one side I'm gonna choose my left side because it's just how I usually do it but you can choose your left or right side it's really up to you and just gonna brush the ponytail one more time All right. so at this point what you want to do is just grab your heat protectant and just spray it a little bit especially on the ends you want to spray it evenly but especially on the ends because that will protect the hair somewhat from you know all the heat styling we're gonna do to it your hair and the extensions if you're wearing some. So now that the heat protectant is dry we can start styling the hair and what we're gonna do is just split the hair into um, about one inch sections. You can do smaller or bigger it's really up to you. I usually just take medium sections which are like one one and a half inch I think. So sections like these and um, then you want to clip the rest away because that would just make it easier when you style it's not in the way and you just want to start curling it upwards on the curler and hold it for about 15 seconds I think that's usually my rule anyways so 15 to 20 seconds you don't want to hold it any longer and then you just want to release it and you get a pretty pretty wave like this. Now I'm going for kind of loose waves 
but if you want to do smaller sections or smaller barrel that's really up to you you can go ahead and do that and you're gonna do the exact same the same thing for the rest of the hair so just grab smaller bigger sections depending on how you like your curl so just clip it away and curl all the hair one by one hair uh, took me about 10 minutes which is not bad at all if you're getting ready for school or work you know it's not something that's gonna take you an hour for sure so um, you know I got really pretty waves you know kind of loose pretty waves and to hold all these curls or waves um, whatever you're gonna have you want to definitely spray it with with um, a extra hold um, hairspray I'm using Elnette L'Oreal hairspray but you can use anything you have and you just spray it evenly all over the curls to the fun part and is to place the headband on the head and you know tie it up all nicely in a bow so this is really easy these headbands are super super easy to use um, it's just you know there's really nothing hard about them so I'm just gonna show you how I do it so you just kind of place it here and um, you can let some hair out if you wish and that's what I'm gonna do so you take these two ends and take it to the back and you want to make a knot here in the back I'm gonna turn around so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing so you just make a knot just once and then you bring these two parts here and you want to make another knot here around the ponytail like that and then all you have to do is just make a bow so once you made the bow you're pretty much done with this hairstyle and you're ready to go and rock this you know hairstyle wherever you're going whether it's work or school or you know a cute date I think this is really cute for spring or summer um, kind of different and very easy to pull off you know curling part is the only thing that takes time but if your hair is naturally curly or wavy you're pretty much ready to go as soon as you place this on your head I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial definitely give it a try and I hope you're enjoying this beautiful springtime it's still kind of cold here in Toronto but I'm really hoping it's gonna warm up soon um, I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye